The problem sits on the floor of this massive lock 47 miles east of Portland on the Columbia River. It fills with as much as 60 feet of water to help ships get around Bonneville Dam. This curved piece of concrete, nearly six feet high and nine feet long, forms a tight seal when the downstream door of the lock swings out into place. Last Thursday, operators noticed it was not sealing properly. An inspection revealed major cracks and problems. Now it's being jackhammered with an industrial machine and plans are underway to build a new one. At this point, we do not have a timeline. Um, we have further inspections perform. We want to make sure that we're careful not to rush to failure, make sure we get a permanent fix in there and get it fixed correctly this time to minimize impact to our stakeholders. In the meantime, all river traffic that must pass through here is stuck. Shaver tug operator Bubba McSherry sent me this video to show some of the impact. He's part of a team waiting to take 10 barges filled with wheat down to Portland or Vancouver to be loaded onto ships for Asia. Instead of moving, they're tied up just above the dam, waiting. Right now is our harvest season, and so we see a lot of that commodity flow on our river during this time. The Columbia is a sort of super highway for grains from the inland northwest from as far away as Lewiston, Idaho. It's the number one waterway for wheat exports in America and number two for soybeans and corn. And right now, none of it's moving. Why not just put all that on a train? They're trucked to those facilities to ship by barge. So there isn't a rail interface. The rail is not at those facilities. It isn't cost effective for those farm producers to be on rail in the first place. That's why they're on the barges. It's unclear if the closure here will affect consumers since most of the grain is bound for overseas. But it is already affecting the men and women who work for companies that move that grain up and down the Columbia River. At Bonneville Dam, Pat Doris, KGW News.